Thanks, Christine, and thank you to APIA Vote, to Civic Leadership USA. Uh, thank you so much um, for all the tremendous work that you've done. Uh, I'm so impressed with this turnout today. I'm so impressed that all of you have gathered all day uh, to share ideas. And what impresses me also, which I need, think we need to do more of, is that there are multiple generations here uh, able to share. And this is not something that we do enough, I think, in the API community, where we're sharing our ideas and our values and our resources. And we might not always agree with each other. We might not even have the same uh, tactics. Uh, and you know, But we definitely can use these experiences, as Congressman, Congressman Wu knows, to share our best practices and to learn from each other uh, and to um, just be more effective uh, collectively as a community. Uh, I, I'm really excited to be here, especially with our wonderful chairwoman, Judy Chu, and uh, my good friend and our uh, leader, Ted Liu, both from California, um, to really thank you for the work and the dedication that so many of you uh, are, are working on day in and day out. This is an incredibly important election year. Uh, as Christine said, and full disclosure, I am a Democrat. I know we're amongst nonprofit organizations, but you know, I just wanted to be honest with all of you. <laughs> Hopefully, I have a few allies in the room today. All right, I think I'm on safe territory here. Today. You never, you never know. Um, so. Turnout is incredibly important, not just this year, but every year. Our community, everyone always talks about, is the fastest growing ethnic community uh, in the entire country. But it doesn't mean much if we are not increasing the percentage that our communities are, are voting at. So it's important that we keep up the good work. Uh, I know it's not the most exciting work, and it's hard work, especially when it's like 90 degrees out. Uh, special props, I just came back from Nevada. It's very hot out there, so thank you for knocking on doors, especially. Um, but there's in incredible um, work that needs to be done. And, and you know, I'm, I'm one of the vice chairs of the DNC. One of the reasons why I'm part of the DNC um, is because I think that our party needs to do a better job at reaching out to the API community than they have uh, in the past. And so we are learning and improving day by day, week by week. And, you know, I'm excited to, that we've made some improvements and some wonderful additions to the DNC. For example, we have Seema Nanda, who is the first API CEO of the DNC uh, ever, um, and a woman CEO at that as well. So it's very exciting. We now have uh, 15 states who have API caucuses. Many thanks to many of you who have worked so hard uh, way before I even got to the DNC to establishing that. And I uh, would be remiss if I didn't uh, shout out, give a shout out to our API caucus chair, Bell Yang Hong, for the many years of work that she's put in as well. Um, and then in the last year, we've uh, made unprecedented investments in a lot of our state parties hiring organizers, for example, in Georgia 6, where the John Ossoff race was going on. And of course, we lost that election. But collectively, because of community leaders and communities of color working together, 8,000 new voters were registered. And for the first time, yeah, you can clap for that. <laughs> And for the first time, the DNC hired uh, through the state party API organizers that came from those communities that looked like them and that spoke their languages. Uh, we also invested in hiring organizers to uh, focus on the API communities in Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Nevada. And we're about to launch a six-digit investment uh, in hiring 10 organizers for certain states, uh, Texas, California, California, New Jersey, Washington, and Nevada. And we're still collecting resumes, so feel free to send them our way. We want to make sure that we're hiring folks who are from the community and who understand our communities. Um, but as our Congresswoman said, Judy Chu, there's so much at stake for our community. Um, upcoming, and this is a nice, uh, you know, nonpartisan thing we can work on. Well, it used to be nonpartisan. <laughs> the census. <laughs> Um, okay, I won't be political. <laughs> 
the census is coming up in 2020. Um, you know, this is something that affects the amount of resources that communities get, both Republicans and Democrats. And so it's really important wherever you are from to make sure that our community is fully participating. It's more important than ever before. A big city, a big state like New York lost two congressional seats last time because um, we needed to do a better job at filling out the census. And so it's super important and I'm sure we'll be all collaborating and, and working uh, on that. Um, and so I really wanted to be here just to say thank you for putting in such hard work. Uh, your work is incredibly important. The elections have consequences. We need to do better. We need to increase the voter turnout in our communities. It is literally for the sake of our future generations. So I just wanted to be here today to say thank you, all of you.